David, Tell me did something. you hear about the richest New Year's party ever? So it went down on a Swiss billionaire's mega yacht in the Ritzy Island of St. Bart's. Jeff Bezos was there. I'm not sure if you've seen these memes going on. He's dressed up in a 70s disco outfit. Basically, people are clowning him, calling him basically the corny billionaire version of Jeff Bezos. I'm sorry, of, of Pitbull. <laughs> Uh, tons of celebrities were there. Leo, Drake, my girl crush, Dua Lipa, Meek Mill's there performing, Lil Baby performed. Basically, 500 VIPs were there. And if you combine the net worth of these 500 VIPs that were there, it would be more than most countries' GDP. Get That's the kind of party they're doing on these mega yachts in St. Bart's. I might have said five VIPs, 500 VIPs on this mega 500. yacht. 500. Yes. Yikes. Jeff Bezos was there. They're clowning him. Now, are you a fan of Jeff Bezos? Yeah, I'm, in, I'm, I'm an Amazon Prime. I I'm a fan. love Amazon. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my life would not be what it is today without Amazon. You know, people hate on Jeff Bezos. He's too rich. He's too wealthy. I use Amazon. Hey, he hasn't underpaid me. <laughs> <laughs> Other people he has. But anyway, so people are kind of clowning him. But let me read this story. This is a page six story if you want to pull this up. Yeah. So the party commenced, a.k.a. it started, at a dinner party at... Um, there's a guy called Richie Akiva. I've actually met him a few times in my party days. He's uh, He founded a, a partner of Butter, the Butter Group. They, they have clubs like One Oak in uh, New York, L.A. He's a, he's, a, he's a bigwig. So it started off at his house at this party. And um, then around 1 a.m. it moved to this Swiss billionaire's $150 million, 315-foot mega yacht. I believe we have a picture of the yacht somewhere. And this uh, this Swiss billionaire... His name is Ernesto Bertarelli. Sounds more Italian, but, you know, Switzerland is next to Italy. Um, while you're pulling off this boat, side note, if you end up partying uh, on New Year's on a Swiss billionaire's yacht, you're doing all right for yourself. David, how was your New Year's, by the way? Dude, I was invited to this party, um, to this one, the VIP one. <laughs> you were there, yeah. No, I wasn't. I just I couldn't make it. I was tied up. I had some stuff to do, so I just spent it with family. Oh, nice. But uh, yeah. they, they seem to have a good time. Yeah, you did end up going to that comedy show where other friends of ours went no. to it here in South no. Florida. I heard some good stuff about that, that yeah. show. Our friend Nancy um, loved that show. Loved that show, from what I hear. So yep. did Gerard. Yep. Um, so anyway, there's a, have you ever been to St. Bart's, by the way? Have you ever even heard of St. Bart's? No. Okay. St. <laughs> Bart's, I've actually been there. Um, was I was in there, I think, 2016. It is a French island in the Caribbean. Mm. So, you know colonialization and all that kind of good stuff that was going on. France yeah. basically went in there and uh, took over that island, and it is a very fancy. It was so fancy that I ended up speaking with a French accent the entire time that I was there. I don't I assumed that. a new identity. I actually, not even kidding right now, went by the alias of Patrice. <laughs> Patrice. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, luckily I was uh, with some... Um, you know, I would consider myself well off. I wouldn't say that I'm super rich, but I was with some super rich friends yeah. that took care of everything. Um, we did an episode about how basically how to travel the world for free. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, remember that? Uh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Know, you know, help, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You provide be value. Don't be a cheapskate. Throw in where you can throw in. So anyways, I did that at this uh, trip to St. Bart's. I was with my, my ex at the time. We took a trip there. Basically what it is is you have to fly to I think St. Martin's in a plane, and then from St. Martin's you take a puddle jumper, literally like a six-person... A puddle jumper. Yeah, a puddle jumper. <laughs> um, to fly to St. Bart's. Um, like, it's such a small plane that it's the pilot. <laughs> One of our friends was sitting shotgun in the plane, and then five or six of us were in the back. That's how, like, small the plane is right there. And it's um, nerve-wracking as hell. Oh, um, but I'm it, sorry, your trip to the... I'm sorry beautiful. that you had to go to St. Bart's. <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, I took an uncomfortable trip to Orlando this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Orlando. Yeah, uh, Disney World. But uh, very nice place, very expensive. And um, I remember coming back into the country and... Um, I'm pretty... Because it's a French island. I, I'm pretty sure I had euros. Yeah. And I remember exchanging what was the equivalent of like $12 of euros. And all my rich friends are like, look at this loser, you know, taking the time to cash out 12 bucks. I'm like, 12 bucks, 12 bucks, 12 bucks, right? Yeah. And I remember having a picture of like $10 and like 
you know, eight quarters in my hand and my friends are gathering around me like, look at this, save that money loser. I'm like, yeah, save that money. But, <laughs> so fucked. but yeah, tw- what would you do if you had $12 of euros? Would you just no, trade I, it in? You'd yeah, I, American money. Yeah. Save that money. Save, yeah, what am I going to start Anyway, with? so that's my start of St. Bart. So basically, let's get back to this party. They're on the yacht. They're partying. Meek Mill's performing. Lil Baby doing his little thing. He's, uh, you know, um, performing. Drake's there. Dua Lipa. I'm, like, the biggest fan of Dua Lipa. Yeah, I think she, she texted she's me to go. Total mega. She texted you again? Yeah, right, she won't she stop won't texting me. You alone. It's so awkward. Um, he's basically, these people were partying till basically 10 a.m. They broke my cardinal sin. Oh, no. The only reason I'm alive, because I grew up in South Beach. I lived in Miami. I partied... A lot. The only reason I'm alive <laughs> right now is number one, I don't do like hard drugs. I don't. Right. I've been full disclosure on PBD podcasts. I'll smoke a joint from time to time. Don't worry about that. But I don't mess with the powder, the white stuff, or anything like that. Right. And then here's my rule: sun's up, Adam uh, goes to bed. Well, okay. I don't stay up. Yeah. Like there's no benefit being what's, up at 9 a.m. the next day. What's your like cutoff? Whatever this, whatever like whenever the sun comes up. I'm just saying that's like. The rule. Holy hell, yeah. Like, I'm sure, I'm, yes, I go to bed at midnight, 2 o'clock, whatever. But if it's 6 a.m. and the sun's coming up, I don't care what we're doing. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I grew up in Miami here. Like, this is yeah. not uncommon. So, but that's my rule. But anyways, these people party till 10 a.m. They broke my cardinal sin. But, you know, of all this that's going on, St. Bart's, you know, Lil Baby, Drake, yeah. people partying, Leonardo DiCaprio's there, the person that's in the news the most uh, is this uh, Jeff Bezos guy? Have you seen the picture that it, that is basically circulating the interweb the, right now? The tight shirt of him, the tight shirt, the girlfriend on his side. He's wearing like heart shaped glasses. Yeah. He's wearing a disco techo shirt. Uh, everyone's talking about his outfit now. Personally, I don't give two shits about his outfit. He's at a he's at a disco party, dressed up like he's from the seventies. More power to you, bro. If you want to go in disco attire and you want to be knockoff pitbull. Have at it, bro. Have your moment. There it is. All good. There it is. Yeah, we got that. He looks like absolutely jacked. Yeah. By the way, he is a little. He's he's definitely um, looking better than ever. That's um. This is the same guy that drove a Honda Accord after he became a billionaire. By the way, now he's you know Mr. Cool guy wearing his sunglasses, jacked like you said. Yeah. He's partying. Listen, this is what two hundred billion dollars and a nice fresh divorce will do to a guy like that. <laughs> That's so true. Okay. This is a newly divorced exactly. man right there. And he's dating, her name is Lauren Sanchez. She is the ex-wife of Tony Gonzalez, that guy over there. No. Tony Gonzalez is one of the greatest football players, greatest tight ends in Ed- NFL history. Talk about, about a tight one. end. Listen. <laughs> hey, you. That's so awkward, dude. They, so these guys yeah. just taking a picture together. I mean, you know. Ah, I'm good, It's bro. an ex. They broke up like 10 years ago. They got a kid together. It's all good. And is this... The, oh, that's weird. That's the kid. That's the son. That's that's her son, and that's, that's Jeff Bezos' soon-to-be stepson. That's weird. Exactly. Well, you know, he's probably your age. Go be friends with that guy. You'll have a great time. No, partying. he doesn't look like a cool kid. Looks that guy was cool raised man. rich. He probably sucks. <laughs> No, he wasn't raised rich. He was, I mean, he wasn't Jeff Bezos. He's, 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 he's right, my he's, NFL player. Like, uh, yeah. wealthy, but not billionaire. Um, anyway, <laughs> people are so focused on this outfit. And there's a, there's a metaphor there. Okay. Um, you know what I'm focusing on? Not on the outfit. I'm focusing, because that's the picture that he posted on Instagram. I'm not posting on the actual picture he posted. I'm focusing on his caption, his message oh boy. to his followers. Now, he said this. We had so much fun last night celebrating with a crazy disco party with the family, but the new year is also a great time to take stock and focus on personal growth, renewal, rebirth, and paying careful attention to each moment of your life. What's the analogy there? Most people, New Year's, we talk about most people are most people. Most people party, they're hungover, they're regretting their decisions maybe from the night before. Um, They go into the new year with you know, goals, they go to the gym, they're going to eat healthier, they're going to do better, and then two weeks later, they basically yeah. uh, succumb to the pressures of normal life. Talk is money, all we talk is money. If you enjoyed that short clip from the Sawscast, click here to watch another, click here to watch the full episode, or just stay broke.